It's Wes, Super Wes that is. In this video, I wanna to talk to you about the breath sounds that are often referred to as rails, ronchi, and crackles. Which is which and what do you use? For more practical purposes, when you're actually working and charting and, and giving your report or making a doctor call, this more accurately describes what you should report. Rails and ronchi are outdated terms and nobody really knows what they mean. The term you should use is crackles. But there's three different things you should include with the term crackles. First, the type of crackles. Are they fine crackles? Are they medium crackles? Or are they coarse crackles? And when do you hear them? Do you hear them during inspiration? Do you hear them during expiration? What part of inspiration and expiration do you hear them in? And where are they in the lungs? Are they in the right lower lobe? Are they in the whole left side? Bilaterally? And that will give you a good description of the breath sounds. Crackles happen when there is air passing through and around fluid and mucus in the lungs, main stem, bronchus, or upper airway. An exception to that is atelectatic crackles, and of course caused by atelectasis. Atelectatic crackles are fine crackles in the end inspiratory phase, and they're usually in the lower lobes. My diagram here shows inspiration and expiration. Fine crackles sound like Velcro ripping apart. And they can be atelectatic crackles, or they might be the beginning of fluid overload or pulmonary edema. Medium crackles are usually scattered about and the fluid's getting more built up or there's phlegm present. Coarse crackles are usually when there's a lot of phlegm and fluid present. A few notes about crackles. If you hear crackles in, when you listen to somebody's chest, if it is in their upper airway, in their nose or the back of their throat, it will echo all through their lungs. So ask them to clear their throat. And also if the phlegm's in their chest, ask them to cough. See it resolve, if it resolves itself. You don't want to disregard it because they were able to cough it up, but you want to be able to chart that they, they were able to clear it out That's and what kind of, what the phlegm looked like. Also, if your patient has an endotracheal tube or a trach tube, Crackles are not normal breath sounds. They should have clear breath sounds just like everybody else. It just means that they need to be cleared out. They need to cough it up, and if needed, suction it through their tube. So just to summarize, the crackles are either fine, medium, or coarse. Chart when they happen in inhalation or exhalation, and where they're at in the lung. Okay, thank you so much.